Chris is with us in Sioux Falls. Hi, Chris. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Thank you, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. How can I help? Uh, well, I could really use uh, some quality advice. I'm um, really, really struggling right now, and um, I'm faced with some very, very difficult decisions, and I'm trying to come to terms with how that might affect um, how I spend quality time with my kids. Um, I have been uh, separated uh, from my marriage for four years, divorced about three. I have my kids every other week, uh, and I just recently went through my second job loss in two years. Um, I've been unemployed for the last two months. Um, the last time I was unemployed, I went through about nine months of unemployment. And um, the funds are really, really low. The debts are piling up, and I just really don't know what to do. Okay. Um, I've been listening to a lot of your podcasts, and um, the one thing, well, one of the many great things that I've been hearing, um, but one of the regular things that I hear is to just work, work, work. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm not afraid of work. I just uh, want to make sure that, you know, my, my kids are, are 9 and 14, and I want to make sure that I can have some quality time with them, and I don't... I just well, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to work to be able to do that. Right. I, I get that. You know, and so there's going to um, be... There's, listen, all dads and moms have trade-offs. We have to pr- produce economically to provide for our family, and that means sometimes we miss a recital. Well, and I I certainly understand missing a recital, but you know if I'm picking up um, you know second shifts or third shifts here and there, um, or maybe that's my regular job, you know how and my kids are in school, how am I spending time with them if I'm a single household income? Well, I, I'm not I positive. I'm not positive on it. the short term. On the short term, you figure it out. On the long term, you change that around. I would not prescribe that you work uh, something where you never see your children ever for 10 years, but you may have to do that for five months because you're broke and unemployed. Yeah. It may be a very difficult five months, but um, if, if you wallow around and I, I, I can't do anything to create money because I have to have time for my kids, you're going to struggle from now on. What were you doing before? What kind of job are you, were you doing before? Um, I was a project manager in the medical industry, in the long-term healthcare industry. Okay, making what kind of money? Um, at my most. No, my, no, the my, one you just got fired from. Oh, the last one that I just got fired from was uh, was not. That was in um, it was in a technology field. I was making between fifty and fifty-five. Doing what in technology? Um, a lot of electronic data interchange. Um, data passing between insurance companies and healthcare providers. Okay, all right. Can can you take and that, that skill? Not, that's not that, that was not my industry. Okay, all right. But your industry is project managing. Yes. Okay. And why did you lose the job? It was part of a large corporate layoff. Oh, okay. They laid off um, about 10, 15 percent of their staff. Well, one thing you can do is come up with a uh, self-employed idea where you take some of your project management skills or your tech skills and you start doing those as an outsource for small business. And um, then you can control your time because you work when you want to work and when, you know, when the customer needs you, but you're going to have to work when you want to work. Uh, you can cont- at least you can you know you're not locked into a set schedule that way, but uh, you desperately need to do something to create income around there on a regular basis. Anything 